My 10-year-old grandson, who is a very good athlete, this was his first year playing tackle football. He was having stomach pains and um, also after his first football game, um, he was having leg pains too and, and kind of everybody con uh, attributed that towards tackle football, first year tackle football. They did uh, some tests and everything like that. They did a blood draw and that's how they found out that he had um, uh, leukemia. It's, that happened on a Sunday afternoon by uh, late Sunday afternoon, early Sunday evening, he was at Marshfield. They figure that uh, he had had it for about five months, five to six months, um, and it had affected approximately 80% of his bone marrow, but it hadn't gotten into any other systems and, and nervous systems or lymph systems or any of, any of that, you know. So, um, but the prognosis is, is very good. Um, it's a, about a three and a half year treatment plan. Uh, I know Pat just through photography, uh, through the middle school here. Um, he does officiating, so I got to know him through officiating as well. Jim Britton um, has been the athletic director up here for as long as I can remember. And so we've got to become good friends and everything like that. I had an idea and I thought, well, since he's a football player and he's Pat's um, grandson, what we're going to do is I went before the 7th and 8th grade football team and their coaches and the volunteer coaches that we have and talked to the kids about, you know, football's a family. I approached the kids and said, you know, uh, our photographer, Pat Clifton's grandson, has been diagnosed with this type of leukemia. And I said, hey guys, if we can give whatever donation you can give, if you can give any at all, most of them responded. Uh, it was anonymous, and we and just in one day, you know, kids brought in the money Monday, and some did on Tuesday, and then we presented it to Pat. Seventh grade scrimmage going on, and he was taking pictures of all the teams, and so we were rotating our scrimmage, and the eighth graders were taking pictures as well. And then once uh, all the pictures were done, um, I was, you know, putting my equipment away, you know, getting ready to haul it up to the car, and I just happened to look back, and I saw all the players and all the coaches coming down into the end zone. We brought all the kids over, kind of a half circle. Jim called me out and so I came around and, and came into the middle of them and he presented me with the envelope. Um, and it was kind of, it was it was really cute because there was, you know, nickels and dimes and quarters, uh, crumpled up dollar bills and everything like that. Anybody that's in in need, you know, whether it's financial or you know, uh, medical, whatever it is, um, we just, we just got to help out people that, that are in need. They have a little sequence of, you know, hitting their pads and clapping and everything like that. And uh, when the guys yell, yelled out, uh, what's the word for the day? And everybody else up, Mason. <laughs> yelled out Mason. None of them knew my grandson. Chances are they will never see him. Um, but what they did, you know, it was just, all these guys coming together as a team um, to help another football player. His, his tests so far have come back really good. You know, we've heard it's a, a high rate of cure, so we're very, very optimistic. I'm so grateful for what they, what the football team and the coaches and Mr. Britton, all of them. And I just would like to, you know, put it out to the people in town here. There's some good kids up here. There's some good kids up here, a lot of them.